Time for a look at our weather now. Let's go to our man Dan Corbett in Antarctica tonight. Coming to us over the internet. Hi Dan, how is it? I tell you what, by Antarctic standards, this is a decent day. It's mild. For you and me, it's cold, really cold. And of course, Antarctica has a reputation for some of the harshest weather on the planet, and rightly so. And today, I took a look at uh, this reputation and how the Art Scott base here has this love-hate relationship with these icy winds that whip their way around the continent. Welcome to the windiest place on Earth. And when I say windiest, that's no exaggeration. It's subject to the, the full force of the weather coming from the South Pole. For those who winter over here, it's an added complication. Make for a really tough day at the office, you know, just trying to do your job outside. But it's not all bad. Those winds make it the best possible spot for the southernmost wind farm in the world. It can produce 60% of the power needed to run the Scott base and the American base at McMurdo, just over the hill. This wind farm would be rated up there as some of the world's best with the, the wind it gets of a good, consistent wind. Jono is a veteran of the ice. He spent 3,000 days here, some of that time building the wind farm five years ago. His reward? This ridge is now known as Jono's Ridge. Pretty amazing to think, you know, that you've got something in Antarctica named after yourself. You know, it's, it's certainly a great reward. Well, the winds are blowing about 30 kilometres an hour. The temperature's about minus six, so it makes it feel about minus 20. But it gets a whole lot worse than that. So you've experienced some record-breaking wind here. Yeah, um, this winter it was um, particularly windy. We had gusts up to 107 knots, so it's just under 200 kilometres an hour. The strongest winds recorded at Scott Base for three decades. It's certainly a place of weather extremes.